And what is my weight now? Yeah. That affects it too, right? So it does, but you've got to you've got to keep changing it. So you got to keep going in there and editing it to what it is. But but as long as I have the baseline and I know, mm -hmm. I can always. I just have to forget Garmin unless we use yours mm. and go with the Polar and just see where where it falls. At, you know? But I know it that it's twenty five percent, twenty to twenty five percent less. Mm -hmm. So I just I can mentally add that on. We can always go back to it to get a baseline look, you know. Yeah. Anyway, that was a cracker. Welcome to Breakfast with the Big Mac. And uh, it's Deja Vu Mac, isn't it? A week later and here we are. Same seats, same room. But uh, what's different is the, the blend of exercise that we did. And, and I'm sitting on it here. Because we did a lot of uh, box work today. Some plyometric stuff that we put into your program. And um, just you know, go over your thoughts on that stuff and, and what you feel it does to your physiology. I like it. It's fun. Uh, it's different, so it's fun. It's challenging, so it's fun. It cranks the heart rate up. It really so does. It's a good benefit, which is fun. Mm. Um, I feel good about my agility, jumping up and down, I think, one foot up, two feet up, forward, backwards, all that stuff. It's uh, not bad for a big guy, I think. You, you're right. No, I didn't. Um, better than not bad. I thought you did it really well and um, you know a lot of the exercises we've started to do over the last six weeks you can really see a lot of benefit from in terms of especially uh, flexibility actually. Yeah, right. And there's certain exercises that we, we benchmark that on and you've really come a long way into your range on some of those exercises. Right. I think those lunge matrix stuff is really painful. Lunge matrix, huge, yeah. absolutely. And, and uh, Doing the the deadlifts, elevated deadlifts up on the box, where it allows you to get that weight a little lower and get more more range in the hip. Yeah, but I tell you what, that box is nothing like that bosu ball. Mm. That bosu ball is difficult. Yes, it is the balance component. Right. Yeah, and it showed too. We always we always come back to your heart rate in these episodes that we do and. What we just discussed that we think that this one was about four beats higher than normal, right, for, for the workout. So you're getting cunning in your old age. You're doing that, <laughs> that six-minute row and you're doing it hard and we didn't have to go back to the rower at all today because your heart rate stayed right up there. And that's something you've learned yourself, you know. Put it in for that six minutes and really get yourself boiling. I think I can find where my average heart rate is, honestly. Yeah, I thought you had it up there earlier, didn't you say? Just, that? yeah, my average heart rate heart rate for today was up there. Mm. My average heart rate for all the workouts this week. The other week. sessions, yeah. right, yeah, does it aggregate them? It, it does, good. it does. I just don't know which button to push to get to it. That's a nice bit of information to have, actually. But, uh, you know, from, from my own personal point of view, I'd like to think that this session was a lot higher than the one that you could do on your own. You know? <laughs> I'm sure it is. Yeah, so you, you really push yourself. And uh, they're not only enjoyable for you, but they are for me as well. Well, thanks. You know, you're really giving it heaps. Well done. Once again, thank you. Good work. Keep it going.